Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my review of Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Clash. So, yeah, I took the month to actually play the game a little bit more. Um, I, I didn't... I'm going to be honest too, I didn't have a lot of time, but when I could, I'd go in and, you know, do the story mode. I'm basically finished with that. Um, as you're going to be seeing on screen, I'm doing the last two fights in the um, actual game. So, yeah, overall, um, let's start with the story mode, actually. Um, the kind of cliche, uh, you know, story kind of, you know, just pictures moving and some dialogue. Um, it's okay, I guess. It's obviously not the greatest thing to stay, you know, interested. But, um, overall, I think it's a good kind of refresher of Season 1 and Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Especially since, uh... Season 2 did come out not that long ago, and it was actually a good experience to play this game before actually watching Season 2. So, I will say that was a very, you know, good kind of experience, uh, I'd like to say, to experience the game uh, and the story like this, kind of re of a refresher. So, um, the story mode was pretty good. Um, another thing that was really amazing is the cutscenes. The cutscenes, there was only four of them, I think, four or five. Uh, the opening one, and then there's the one with Gojo, uh, and then there's one with, uh, Aso and Kechizu, and then there's Yuta and Ghetto. But, um, it, they were good. Uh, the dialogue just is always off in this game. I'm gonna get into that a little bit later, but, yeah, the cutscenes just were animated pretty well from just how the game looks, you know? Um, I wish they added a, a lot more cutscenes to this game to just keep it a little more interesting. Like, at least one per chapter, but, you know, it, it's okay, though. The ones we got were pretty decent. Um, the collectibles, there's a lot of different things. There's the, um, you know, just like in Naruto and Demon Slayer, there's the profile pictures, there's, um, poses and stuff like that. And I do like how they try to keep the game a bit more entertaining with stuff like that. Just to um, be able to unlock different collectibles and buy them and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, along with the costumes. They really went above and beyond with the costumes. There's so many like different outfits f for every character. There's over 220. So, and well, there is 220, but there's over 200, I meant to say. But there is a lot. Like, even if it's just Yuji Itadori in a different color... It still looks really good, and, you know, they all have different outfits. Every character has a different outfit, um, except, except for probably Aso and Kechizu, because we only seen them in that one fight. But, um, every other character has a different outfit. Nanami, Gojo, obviously, uh, all Jujutsu Kaisen Zero outfits, um, you know, Yuji with some different outfits. Everybody has a different outfit, so I just really enjoy that, that they took the time to give us some, uh, different outfits to wear. They did have the pre-order bonuses, uh, the Lost in Paradise, um, and uh, the opening thing, I mean, no, the ending, where they gave us the outfits for Megumi, Nobara, and Yuji, very cool there, just a lot of fan service kind of stuff, so I do appreciate that, um, and yeah, like I said, uh, the uniqueness, like, the uniqueness, it, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the main part of the video, um, the uniqueness of this game is both good and bad, because this game is trying its hardest not to be an arena fighter, right? Because we got two people, you know, you you each have three lives, it's kind of, it's not trying to be like Naruto or uh, Demon Slayer, it's trying to be different from that, from your average game, uh, anime fighting game. Uh, the, f the fights and everything, like, it's, it gets a bit crazy at times, but, you know, it is very unique, and I, I'd, I'd say that's kind of a cool experience for the for the story mode, at least. I can't see myself playing this game online at all. I haven't, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't even tried it out because I know it's going to be too hard for me to do it. You know, it's the, the controls are just very strange to me. You know, there's a bunch of different things with the same couple of buttons, so it's just really weird that way. But uh, I'll get into that later. Um, the art. The art in this game is really good, like, all the, cr uh, character, like, the roster models and everything look really good. Um, like I said, the cutscenes are really good. There's a lot of really cool things in this game, art-wise. 
Uh, yeah, I like that stuff. Um, and then just a wild card. I mean, uh, uh, the best thing about this game, if you didn't get the deluxe edition, Jujutsu Kaisen RBI, it's called. Bro, that, it goes so hard. It's so good. It's like an old school arcade style game. And it's a baseball. It's the Jujutsu Kaisen Kyoto versus Tokyo baseball game. <clears throat> in like a 2D um, style. like uh, No, well not 2D. 8-bit style. It, it looks just really good. Um, I, I really appreciate it. I mean, they, they just... They give you every character. They got the batters going on. It's really... A cup, it's like a few controls, like you're actually playing an arcade game. It's beautiful, just like, if they released that game on its own, people would probably play, would probably pay $60, I would recommend that. Because it's a really good party game, I was here with my cousins the other day, playing on it, really amazing game. Uh, I wish they did put a little more work into it, just because it was so good, but you know, it was better than this game, you know, that's, it's crazy. But, uh... Yeah, I really did appreciate it. The art style, everything, amazing. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to get into the mid category. Um, this is just stuff that it's it's basically mid. But um, yeah, so the graphics. The graphics of this game, um, the character models look okay. It's just at times it's a little funky. Um, you know, but it, it does look, I'm not going to say it looks horrible, it's just you, sometimes it's a little, you know, weird, if you, if you guys, you know, can understand what I'm saying. The floaty style, and just, you know, it's hard to, like, move around in the game sometimes, because you gotta lock on, you gotta, you know, it's just very complicated at times with the graphics, but, um, it, it, I'm not going to say it's horrible, they, the character models, especially the ending, they look really good. Um, the music is, you know, mid as well, um, some of it's good, you know, uh, just for the story at least, like when they're doing an intense moment, they'll play intense music, um, it's just, it, I wish they could have gave us the openings, that would have been way better, you know what I mean? But they kind of screwed us on that. The main menu is, is very mid, um, it, it looks like a mobile game or a computer game kind of thing, so that's why I, you know... I'm putting it in this category. The one thing I do like is that they showed a smidget of, you know, the different openings and endings. But that's about it. Every Everything else just, it's it looks very strange looking. Um, another thing that was made is the side stories. I do appreciate the extra content. Um, and then the dialogue, which they voiced it, so that's cool. At least you're not sitting there reading stuff. But it's just like feels filler, it's too filler, you know what I mean, it's Maki and Nobara go to a mall and they see a demon, that's it, you know what I mean, it's just, I mean, a curse, but you know, it's just pretty weird, um, another thing, which, I put this in the mid category, just for the, you know, give it the benefit of the doubt, but the digital art book that we had to, we could get, it's, it's a whole application, right, it doesn't take up that much space, but it's a whole application of just art, and it's just, you look at it once, and that's it, you know what I mean? They could have just added that to the original game. Like, it could have just been, you know, it feels like, what did you give us a whole application for? Just add it to the game. They, you know, it's just kind of laziness, in my opinion. Um, the art looked really good. I'm not gonna, you know, hate on the art at all. It looked amazing. It was like characters, like their character models, and different, you know, pictures like that. They all looked really good, it just felt weird, like, why are you giving us a whole app when you could have just threw this into the game, you know, as, a, as another thing to just click on, you know, art or gallery or something like that. It was just very silly in my opinion. Um, now we're going to get into some of the things that I didn't really appreciate about this game. Um, the weird playing style and the mechanics. So, like I said... Sometimes it gets really tough to play this game just because um, there's like like when you have to press uh, when you have to attack right there's a bunch of different uh, attacks and stuff like they're trying to be very unique right and that goes with what I'm saying is that 
there's too much uniqueness, right? And it creates an imbalance. Like, I'm going to say I love how every character... That's what I wanted to say. I didn't think of it at the time, but I absolutely love how every character in this game is different. I love it. I, I, I mean, I appreciate it. It feels like different characters for the low roster that we got. And that's another point that I was going to bring up. There's only, you know, 16 characters in this game. And there should be more. I can think of 10. I already made a video on missing characters in this game. Um, but I do appreciate how they made them all unique. They all do different things. And they're really, you know, fun to use. The issue is, some of the characters are absolute garbage. Um, you know, Maki, she's good sometimes. It's just her ultimate's very bad. Um, Nobara... <laughs> I know Globku was saying, oh, she's a beast, but she's extremely tough to use. You know what I mean? And another thing with the gameplay is, sometimes you're attacking, and it doesn't do no damage. Like, you can only use, use cursed energy, so it's like you're attacking, you're finally hitting an attack on the, on the opponent, and guess what? You're doing no damage. So it just feels like a, a waste. You know what I mean? They should have fixed that. They should have just... It should have made it easier. You know, that way it prolongs it. And it makes some of the characters trash. And some of the characters extremely OP. Um, yeah. Another thing is, like, I would have loved a character select screen. But we don't get that. We just kind of get, like, a settings kind of thing. Which is, you know, very mid in, it, in itself. Like, you gotta go into the settings. Alright, I'm gonna put my settings to Yuta Kotsu. And then I'm going to put uh, the Utah with the, um, you know, some kind of street streetwear outfit. <laughs> and it's like, go on the character, make a character collect, uh, select screen and then get, let me change my outfit. It wasn't that hard to do, even if it looked, if it looked shitty, you know, they didn't have to move, but it just make it at least look decent, you know, not just settings, you know, but um, that's just my opinion there. Um, another thing is that it was very condensed down, including the story. The story was condensed down because there were certain characters that they just didn't add to this game. Um, I mean, it's very, very stupid. Like, Miguel should have been in this game. You could have did Gojo versus Miguel fight right there. Half of the Kyoto students mi missed out on all of those fights. And it was just, you know, there's a lot of things that they just didn't include in this game that, you know... They should have added to this game. Um, and then overall, this game was just a massive cash grab. Because they didn't put enough effort into this game. They hyped this game up. Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash. Oh my god. A Jujutsu Kaisen game. That's like the best, hottest series right now. Well, guess what? The game's not going to be good. It's going to be, you know, I want to I wanna just make a Jujutsu Kaisen game. It'll make a ton of money. Everybody loves it. But, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it is what it is. The game's okay, I'm going to say. The game's alright. Um, that's I'm going to give it the mid category. Um, that's just how anime games are right now. That's why we're all hoping and praying Sparking Zero is going to save us all. But um, overall, you know, I'm not going to say I hated the game. It was good. Um, the fight, I just won't really be playing it rather than the story. Um, another thing that might save it is if they start really bringing in, bringing in some amazing DLC. They already teased, you know, Young Ghetto and, and Gojo, which, that's cool. I'm down for that. Add them to the game. I don't know if they're going to be outfits, but I know Ghetto can have his own <laughs> play style and his own, you know, moveset. That, that would just, just from how different his older self is. But, um, yeah, I feel like DLC has to save this game. It could save this game, or it could just be, you know, cash grabs. I mean, the only reason I'm getting the DLC is that it came to, it came with the pre-order bonus. Because, you know, I might as well. But, um, anyways, guys, comment down below what do you guys think about this game. You know, did you get it? Did you play it? Um, was it worth the money? But, um, yeah, uh, as always, guys, it's been SJ Benj. Don't forget to turn on notifications because I want to be live streaming soon. You know, I have a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of games I want to play. Uh, anyways, guys, peace. Ara, you made it to the end. 
Before you go, make sure to follow the socials and subscribe to the channel for the most unique anime and manga content out there. And just remember, Griffith did nothing wrong.